Welcome back to another Hoffman's review video. Welcome back, welcome back. We are going to be going on to the next one. That is the Bayou. So let's take a look at this artwork for a minute. You can see the alligator skin here with the orange background, Florida colors. So let's dig into this bar for ingredient. Well, for scent profile ingredients, we have lime, tangerine, bergamot, floral, chili pepper and musk so very interesting combo here let's see how it is so here we have another this is crazy this is the th the third bar in a row i've opened that's like the same color scheme we got to do this again now the previous video i just did was nectarine nate also with that green and orange color and then i just had wild irish out i was talking about and we had that green and orange color scheme. Third bar in a row, how about that? Wild Irish, the Bayou, and then Nectarine Nate. Look at that. All right, back to this review. So the previous bar was Nectarine Nate. Didn't really have much of a scent. I'm just enjoying my wild Irish again. Yeah, the nectarine bar was not very strong. And it was a little confusing because it smelled like a light, sweet floral cologne, but it really didn't smell like anything. Not much at all. So maybe that's normal, maybe not. Hopefully I'll be finding out sooner or later. But in the meantime, we're going to try the Bayou. So. Now that I'm done dropping my soap boxes, let's try it out. This definitely has a little more of a stronger scent to it. Still not a super, super strong scent, but this is a little stronger. I do like this. The tangerine's a really nice scent. Yeah, the tangerine's a really nice scent. This is definitely more of a, a subtle bar, but the tangerine is really nice. You get a little a little musk. Um, you do get a little lime, which I like. I think it meshes well with the tangerine. A little bergamot, a little floral. So, you know, it's all true on the packaging, but very minor amounts of those things. And then the chili pepper ingredient, which is probably the most interesting ingredient I've seen in a bar in a long time. It's not too strong. It's actually more of just like a peppery, peppery spice type of scent. So nothing really that crazy. And it kind of gives a nice musky balance to the, the lime and the tangerine. So we had basically a nectarine scented bar that was, you know, not super fruity smelling. I would say this is definitely more fruity smelling but not super strong. It really just smells like a nice tangerine air freshener that's been in a room for a few weeks and it's kind of less potent, but still really nice and relaxing. So that is my, the Bayou review. Nice, nice bar though. It does have that nice Hoffman's feel to it. So that's gonna wrap up this review. Let me know what you think of that bar if you've tried it. Let me know what else you think in the comments, and we will see you next time.